and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So today's video is a requested video on how I did my swatch chart binder, but it's also the start. I am going to do an organizing series on my channel and uh, show how I organize different things. Um, so the swatch chart is one of them. I mean, I had a request to show how I organize my puzzles and I'm going to show you how I organize my markers. Um, I will also show you, well, pencils, everybody seems to, I just use those pencil things. But what I would like to do is for have you guys comment down below on some of the things, videos, organizing videos you would like to see on my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I, um, I'm a weird person and I do love to organize. It is relaxing to me. I tend to organize and then reorganize and reorganize. It's like, it's never good enough for me. Um, but, uh, I'm going to put a link to my craft room tour in the eye in the sky for you guys. If you haven't seen that already, you should go over and watch it. And that way you can see kind of what my room is like. Um, I feel like it's got way too much stuff in it, <laughs> but I went from having two rooms. I lived when I lived in my house in Texas from moving back to California, we had to get a much smaller house to having one craft room. So it's all squished into one room. And I don't know about you guys, but it's really hard to get rid of craft stuff. It's like, oh, I might use that, or I don't want to get rid of this. I might use this. And trust me, and I have gotten rid of tons and tons of stuff. Um, anyway, so for this video, um, I was asked to show my swatch chart binder and how I organized it. So here, all I did is this is a one inch binder and I took some scrapbooking paper and then this is, I wrote that and then I measured it and I did it. I didn't do it on the back. So just the front and the side. So, um, when you open it, I'm going to move it like this so you can see it. These are, I don't know if you guys think this is a good idea or not. Um, I'm slowly going through all my, my different pencil sets. And so all my grays and blacks are going to be on one. I have my brown. So far I've done my Arctics, my Arteza Experts, my Brute Furniture Squares, and my Black Widows. So I'm doing every color. So that way I can see, you know, the different colors and some pencils have more than others or different colors that I need. So, um, and these I got, um, from, oh, I cannot think. I will put her name across the screen right here. And I'll put a link to her Etsy shop where she sells these on her channel. Um, and that's where I got most of them. Oh, Pamela's Passions for Pencils. That's what it is. And she has an Etsy shop. And that's where I've gotten most of my swatch charts. Now, I know some of you aren't swatch people. And that's okay. Not everybody is. Um, I am. I like to see all the colors and all my options. So... I made my own dividers. Um, this is scrapbooking paper. And so I have, first I have pencils and I use my lovely, <laughs> my husband labeled the label maker, my uh, Dymo la label maker. And I ha get the clear ones and I just, you know, decide the size and I cut them down if I need to. So we'll start with the pencils. So I put them in alphabetical order Sorry, there's a glare. So um, I'm starting with my Artics. So here's my Artics pencils, my Arteza Experts, um, then my Black Widows. So see, she even, I wrote the Arteza Experts, but she has, even has them where they're typed out, the names, and so all you have to do is do the swatching, the color. Those are my Black Widows. 
Then I have my Brute Fooner 520 set. And that takes two of pages because there's so many. And this chart was a free chart I found on, I think I found it on Pinterest. But this was a free one. But I like, uh, I like this way better. I like the colors right next to each other so you can see better what goes with what. So here's my Brute Fruiter Squares. And then I have my Castle Arts. This is the original Castle 120 set, Castle Arts 120 set. And then these are my Castle Art, my pastel tints and my metallics. Then I have my Crayolas. So these are my 100, I don't have the one, I think there's a 120 set, I don't have that set. I have the 100 and then I have the, um, the Colors Around the World set. And here are my Derwent Color Softs. And then my Polychromos. And then my, I have the Indra Creative Pastels, which I don't recommend. Um, I didn't really like them. I mean, I haven't really used them too much. I need to pull them out and use them. So I can give a really good sense of whether I like them or not. But just by swatching them out, I did not, I did not like them. Here is the Color the 180 set. This was my very first set of non-Crayola pencils. And then I have my Color Experts, which is the 240 set. I do like the Color pencils. They're good pencils. And then I have uh, the Mark Arts, the 120 set. And this was one that Pamela's passion for pencils she has on her Etsy shop. And it has the numbers and the names already on it. I didn't write them in. My Prismacolors. Um, I did color family order. And this, I forget, it's somebody's channel. If I can think of it, I'll put it down below. And I use their channel to make these the order that they're in. Then I have my Star Joys, and it's the original 120 set. This was my second set of non Crayola color pencils. Then my next section is all of my markers. I do not have all my markers swatched out. Um, I'm still working on that, but I have most of them swatched out. So I have my Artix alcohol markers. And as you can see, I'm not perfect. I do make mistakes. I have the skin tone set and the pastels also. These are the Arctic metallic markers. They're the acrylic metallic markers and the regular metallic markers, but they have a new set. The acrylic markers I have look like this. And they have two ends. They have a, a brush tip and they have a fine tip. Um, they're okay, they're not my favorite. I'm hoping the newer ones are better. I haven't gotten those yet, but I'm hoping they're better. So there's those, yes. And the regular ones are numbered, but the metallic ones were not. Then I have my Artist Loft Fine Liner Markers, the Michaels brand. I am starting my Blick Studio brush marker, alcohol brush marker set collection. I don't have very many. I have the grays, the blues, the portrait, and the primary colors. Because I hear they're refillable. I'm looking for a refillable alcohol marker that I like. Um, oh, hoo hoos are still my favorite. But I haven't used these very much. I need to use them. Then I have my very first alcohol marker set, my Cali Arts, the 100. And then I have my Crayola Super Tips. I numbered them myself. 
And as you can see, one of my markers does not work. Sad day. I have my Crayola Pipsqueak Skinnies. And then I just recently, you'll see in my haul for this month, I have the Mondo Llama alcohol markers, the Target brand. I believe there, you know, there's 40. And they are not numbered. I numbered them myself. And I wrote on the lids with um, a permanent marker, permanent pen. And then here are my Ohuhu acrylic markers. So I have, these are the regular ones. And then these are the meta metallics on this side. And then I have my Ohuhu water brush markers. And then here are my Ohuhu alcohol markers. I have the 216, the Honolulu set, the one with the brush and the fine tip. I need a new set. I need to mark off all the ones I've thrown away, but I've thrown quite a few away because they are, sadly, I'm using them up. And then um, I, if you saw my haul from September, I got the Spectrum Noir permanent markers, or their alcohol markers. And they were on clearance at um, Hobby Lobby. And I got a set of those. And then I have my crayons. Now my crayon section is also my gel sticks, gel crayons. So here are my, I have the 96 Crayolas, my crayons. I have my Crayola Twistable Crayons. Um, these are my different gel sticks. So let's see. These are the Crayolas here at the top. And then these are all the King Arts. So this is with coloring it straight on the paper and this is with using um, a brush. And then I have my gel pen section. So here are my Ain Art glitter gel pens. And then my Sakura TR set and my Link set, but I I made a separate sheet for those, which you'll see. So here is the Sakura. So we have the metallics, the stardust, we have all the glaze. And then we have the Link the Tiara Sakuras and my Arteza glitter pens. And then these are all of my random. I have two different big sets of gel pens. One's the tan mint and the other one. So there's both regular and glitter. And the other one is, um, it's just, it, it's a no name brand. There's no name on the mark pens. So I did all them in, I wrote on the, on each pen numbers and then these are the Arteza ones again I have them in two different places and yeah I have and that's it I am I have extras this was my original for my uh oh they were the shuttle art so the non-name brands were the shuttle art gel pens and then I use these as scrap paper and then these are some dividers, but they're too short. So I have put them back in the back. So that is my color swatch binder. And I will link, um, I, I'll do a link for the my label maker. I'll do a link for Pamela's Passion for Pencils for her Etsy shop for her swatch charts. And I believe there was something else I said. I'm not really sure. I'm so sorry. My brain is not working tonight. Anyway, this was a short and sweet video. I hope you like it. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I am almost to a thousand subscribers. So tell all your friends about my channel. I would love to get to a thousand. That would be amazing. Um, and if I do, I will be doing some sort of giveaway. I don't know the how, what yet, but I will do some sort of give, giveaway. 
And don't forget to comment down below what kind of organizing videos you would like to see. And uh, like I said, subscribe, uh, hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos and the thumbs up that you liked it. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.